Welcome back, Marvel Puzzle Quest with P.I. McLeod. Um, look at that big doofus up there. I'm sorry if you're a Big Wheel fan, but I don't think I'm talking to many people when I say that. Uh, he's an old school villain from back in some day. I couldn't even tell you where from, how long ago. I don't know much of anything about him. Um, but hey, if you're curious, I mean, you could look at him and all you want. He's, he's huge. He takes up like the whole darn screen. Um, but more importantly, you can go, let's see, roster. Filter to your four stars. Red, blue, black. There's Taskmaster. Look at his red. Oldest trick in the book. There he is. Big wheel. He's been in here. He's been mentioned in here for a while. I've, I've kept this memorized. Don't ask why. I memorize a lot of weird stuff. But you can see like down the line on four, he mentions the swarm. Paste pot Pete on three. Stiltman on two. And kangaroo on level one of it. So, who knows? Maybe they're going to go down the list and actually input these characters somehow or some why. I don't know. Um, and that is a different list than if you were to do Red, Yellow, Purple. Get out Star-Lord's oldest trick in the book. He references the Pet Avengers, Alpha Flight, D-Man, Moon Boy, and Beta Ray Bill. So, at least two different characters. I guess three if you count the Pet Avengers as a whole. Have, um have met, made it into this game out of the 10 um, joke, quote-unquote, characters that have been mentioned. I know people nowadays in MBQ probably wouldn't consider Beta Ray Bill to be a joke character now because he's a serious meta character in the five-star land. But um, anyways, I'm not here to talk about Big Wheel. I will mention this. Um, on the positive note, they did a couple things with him that I've really surprised it's taken them this long. We have what? How many characters in this game? Well, here. Want to look? I got 263 listed up there in my roster, and I only have a couple of copies in the one-star, two-star, and that's it, land. <laughs> uh, I have all 47 three-stars. Um... All the two stars and a couple of copies that I'm farming. Some one stars with copies that I just basically get the experience and then I sell them off when they hit fives in a color. I won't I won't divulge into why. I just, I don't know. I like raising my shield level. Um, 119 four stars because I do have all of them. See? Um, and five stars. I'm only missing big wheel now. So what? 263 minus a few. Um... Uh, reason I'm stating this is because it took him this long to get to a power. <sighs> Rotate the center two by two block of tiles. Like what? Rotate them? And it includes the lock tiles. Lock tiles move too. Which, I'll get to that in a second. Rotate the center four by four block. It took him this long to get to the idea of rotating tiles. That's kind of weird, right? We've been shuffling tiles, randomly destroying tiles, even swapping tiles in some cases. We're finally to the point of rotating tiles. They took a dude with a giant American Gladiator style wheel <laughs> to get to the point where we're going to rotate tiles. Um, red, same thing. Choose a tile and rotate the three by three block of tiles around it. You know what they need to do with that too? They need to tell you which direction clockwise counterclockwise i mean sure you'll get to the point where you learn it and just know which way it rotates but it's kind of important to know clockwise or counterclockwise um until we learn that ourselves you might be asking that question each time you go to use it but um you could also maybe make a, a power better by giving someone the option choose a tile and choose which way to rotate said block of tiles so anyways it's just you know I, I noticed this and i think it's it's an interesting and valid set of powers i've never seen a power set like this where you get to rotate uh, uh things around like this one rotating the board including lock tiles and dealing damage per speed point by the way secondary note speed points speed points kind of like combo points for shang chi 
speed points, as in things that go fast, as in this is a giant slap in the face to Quicksilver, North Star, and any other speedy dude in the Marvel Universe. You're, you're telling me that this guy is going to get damage from speed points when the other speedy dudes are... I, I, I guess they don't get speed points. <laughs> Okay, it's a new mechanic. They're learning with it, right? It's kind of funny. You look at the nowadays stuff like um, four-star Juggernaut and other characters that do increased match damage, right? And then you look back at four-star thing. Sorry, buddy. I guess you were made way too early. <laughs> Finally, uh, something to note. All three of these abilities mention moving and rotating tiles, including locked tiles. They haven't talked about locked tiles in this game for quite some time. A long time. So, I don't know. I'm, I would hedge my bets that someone down the line soon is going to have locked tiles in play. Because otherwise, why would they even mention that? I mean, I guess you don't even need to. But I guess maybe just to be clear... It's just they had to think about it to actually put it in there. When they made this character, they had to think about locked tiles in order to put that in there, that text, that verbiage, and how and why it worked that way. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if a, if a character that is sporting locked tiles comes out soon. Um, is it going to happen? I can't say whether it will or won't, but now I'm looking for it because you mentioned locked tiles. So, anyways... The reason we're here today, not to talk about Big Wheel. Good luck on pulling uh, uh, a, a Big Wheel in your pool, though. I know a lot of us aren't really happy or excited for him, but he's still a five-star. And you know what I say, we don't turn away a five-star cover. Web of History, day three. Let's get into it. There it is, way up there in the upper right-hand corner. Another wave? It is another wave. Huh compound eyes like the eyes of a spider like the facets of a gemstone peter parker has many sides those who cross the line between friend and enemy can bring the spider back to himself okay someone's trying to feel poetic today um and we get a bagman cover for it i know no one really cares about bagman right i do you know why have you ever champed a bagman if you have awesome have you looked at his champ rewards if you have, then you know what I'm getting at. If you champ a bagman at the very end of it, you get a legendary token. I mean, besides all the hero points and command points and stuff along the way, don't you want another legendary token? I do. So I'm going to take those bagman covers. Let's see. Well, this is who you want, huh? Um, I guess I'll use all my versions of their loners, which includes... Anti-Venom, Black Cat, and Cloak and Dagger. Are we ready for this? I think we are. I think this looks like a fine team. The only thing that I would change, why is Anti-Venom in there? I mean, I, I get it for the Spider-Verse stuff, but he's going to have no play in here. These guys don't make webs, and he only does healing and stuff based on <sighs> allies that have been damaged and web tiles on the board and all that junk, so... Yeah, Antivan's a weird person to put in this team. But okay, let's do it. <clears throat> hey, one star Pete and one star Iron Man. I'll just take this match five right here. Oh, we should probably put on our character effects. Let's do that. Don't want to forget that. It's a little bit of fun in our day here. Oh, um, I don't know if you guys can tell or not yet. This is day two of a minor cold of some sort I'm developing. I hope it doesn't come through the speakers that well. Uh, my baby boy has blessed me with a, with a cold because he just can't keep it to himself. He's so excited. <laughs> Let's see. 5,536 damage. He has 5,535 health. That's ridiculous. We're going to kill him by one point. This kitty's got claws. Meow. 
Uh, let's get some more green. Very highly effective and very cheap. It's one of the things actually people forget about a black cat is that she's actually pretty darn good and has cheap powers. She has a stun that lasts really well and puts her airborne, um, getting her out of harm's way. She, you know, with that purple, her black makes some passive traps that actually do decent damage and steal AP. And her green is really cheap, doing some great damage, and if the target's stunned, even more damage. She's a good character. I think people sleep on her a little too much. So there's that critical right there, and you know most people are like, ooh, critical, right? I'm gonna take the trap tile down there in a second instead. Um, if it heals her team for burst of health and creates three yellow web tiles, so I'm gonna deal damage based on uh, equal to 100% of the stuff I'm healing. It's all good. I've heard some people like to make the got milk reference when he does that ability. I'm going to steer clear of it. I know I kind of just made the joke by, by acknowledging it, but I think you get where I'm going. Do some light knives. Pew pew. And perfect plan for the win, right? Oh, just for the wave win. I didn't notice that there was more waves. There's another wave. More web heads. I'll take that trap right there. Right like that. Keep stealing that AP. It's, your, it's mine, not yours. Probably should work on Silk. She keeps healing them, and that's annoying. Yeah, we need to work on Silk. How much purple do I have? Only three? Well, I can switch. It's not going to do a lot of damage yet. we got to build up some more AP first. It's okay. A little more AP and we can just punch her out. I really need to work on getting a... Um, turning my notifications off when I do these. It's my bad. Empty bodies, empty bodies. There we go. What do we got here? Oh, stealing. I like stealing in this case. Give me these. Those aren't yours, those are mine. See, Silk's pretty darn good. I know there's a, at least one person I know watching where Silk is their best character. I hope you're seeing this. Silk is pretty darn useful. I guess I'm going to take this trap, even though I know I'm putting my uh, my adaptive clothing in harm's way. I like the stealing, though, so... Yep, there it goes. Oh, well. I knew better, but took the chance anyways. Look how much Silk is keeping them alive. If you're not paying attention, I hope you see this. Silk does a good job at this stuff. Destroy all, give a chosen a burst of health, plus additional... How much health am I down? Ooh, I'm down like, you know, 3,000 plus. So wait, would this be enough? It's almost 4,000. It wouldn't kill Silk outright. Well, how much damage do I have? I, I have 65 extra. Ah. So I gotta wait. I gotta wait till I take a little more damage before I hit her with that. Stop it. Dang it. I need her to stop that. Alright, here we go. So I'll hit her with the pocket dimension. So now she got hit a little bit. Then I'll heal anti-venom. Twinkle lights. Okay, now she's pretty much done. I just gotta make sure the, the cat traps will get her. Mm 
There we go. Okay, so one person down. Um, no one else has really hurt that bad yet. But their healer is gone, so I guess I'm going to take away at them with this. I need... Let's get some more of this going, because now I can claw my way through Peter Parker. Go on, get rid of that invisibility. Thank you. I'm going to claw my way through Miles now. Because I don't want him going back invisible. Oh, that's still... Oh, there we go. Thank you. I did not want him being alive. He had enough to go hiding again. Um, is anyone really missing much health? One hit point. None. Like 400. It's not enough to use that red. Because he doesn't do damage unless it really does some major healing. That's the problem with anti-venom. Is that it really only works if you are lo low on health. Like low enough to make the healing worthwhile. It's the reason I will never use anti venom that much. It's because you just, you're, like the game plan with him is to play so that you're you're healing yourself. Yeah, a solid game plan would mean that you wouldn't have to heal yourself. So no, thank you. It's a good thing we got rid of Miles too. Because his ability to generate more AP based on those web tiles gets highly annoying. Let's switch back. If only just to use light knives and get some more black tiles on the board for Black Cat to use. There you go. That'll get rid of those protections. And them. <laughs> nice. Goodbye! Switcheroo. Nice stuff. By the way, I learned this today. I was today years old, if you can allow me the phrase. Um, that if you use a Spider-Man of some sort, well, a Peter Parker Spider-Man, uh, per day right now, you get a token for that No Way Home Vault. I already used mine, so sorry. But hence, that's one of the reasons I have five things collected because I spend the, I do the day the daily sale for 100 coins, and then I've had a couple of tokens, one per day for the spiders that I keep using. So, use your daily Peter Parker and get tokens for that vault. Okay, and while we're in here, let's do the next Johnny Storm Fireside puzzles because you know we got to get through these one way or another. Playing with fire. Have 14 red tiles at once. <sighs> Get that fire roaring. It's time for s'mores. Okay, that's cute. We're going to use who they give us. Only my version, of course. So, magic. Oh, this makes it a lot better. Good. Because her purple creates red per turn with that repeater. Um, Johnny's not going to help us at all. His red actually takes away t red tiles. So, but we are going to use them because he's our loner. That's the that's the ask. Um, we want another red creator. Uh, I, I can't help but go back to Scott Summers. I mean, there's other ways to do this, but did I pass him up? I had to pass him up. Some of you are probably looking at your screen like, oh my god, oh yeah, I couldn't, I forgot I had this costume on him. I was looking for the red mask guy, not Deadpool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I forgot I had this costume on my Scott. So there you go. Uh, use the yellow to make more reds. Use the purple to make more reds. Don't use Human Torch at all. Um, if anything, I will boost purple. And I will boost yellow just to kickstart those abilities off. Okay, so we want the yellows, but the yellows turn team ups into. <sighs> I see yellows and I see purples. Which one's more important? I guess I'll take this yellow. And we'll take that purple. 
a little bit of each. A smorgasbord of AP. We need more team up before we do this because this actually turns, look at that, eight random team ups into reds. So we're going to have to wait. We'll take that purple while we're waiting though. Uh, of course a match four comes down for him to snag it up. And of course that's, why is it so much red coming down? That was ridiculous. Um, we'll do this, get magic running. It just keeps coming down. Here, let me, let me see. I need to a new towns have an increased chance to be red. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. I didn't see that. Ugh. I mean, I hate the fact that I have to take that match five, but if I don't, they will, and that's just ridiculous. So... Okay, so there's three red tiles out there. There's one, two, three, four, five team ups. That's not nearly enough. We will make start doing our limbo. Okay. And we'll start prepping to do some more of that team ups team up fun. Don't don't take it away. <sighs> of course they did. Um, if I fire my yellow now, those team ups will turn to red, but I will also um, lose all those reds. So that's not what I want to do. I'll do this for now. Okay, if I fire it off now, I'll lose three reds, but I'll gain three reds. Not exactly efficient. <laughs> um. I don't want them getting rid of my limbo, but at the same time, I don't see that happening because they'll probably go for the red match, if anything. Let me get my AP showing again. I like to see where he's at before he's going to punch me out. There's a lot of red out there. There's a lot of red. He's got a lot of red AP. Please don't punch me. Okay, so he's going to do a big old red punch here in a minute. And I have enough red. Thank you, Magic, for making it. Iron Man helps me make a bunch of it, and then Magic finished it off with her limbo. But honestly, Scott Summers works really well for that. Um, you could use Quake to get rid of other colors on the board, since reds drop so frequently. If you Quaked away like a bunch of the greens, yellows, blacks, whatever, with her blue, that could work. Um... There's plenty of ways to make red on the board, so, yeah. Cool. And that was Johnny's Storm, Johnny Storm's Fireside Puzzles Day 4 of it. And that's pretty much all I got for now. Um, we'll come back for Web of History Day 5 tomorrow. Or Day 4, right? Day 4? There's only three of them. Yep, Day 4. Um, and, yeah, that's it. Good luck to you and your pulls for Big Wheel when it happens. Um, I'm going to wait for him to become, you know, have his CP store before I unload my command points that I have stored up. I'm almost at 700 right now. We'll get more before that store opens up. I guarantee it. So thanks again for tuning in. And we'll talk to you next time. Probably tomorrow. Later, guys.